Ow. Cardinal coffee. We're back on the job and Nate and Arlo, the carpenter maestros, finally got to meet and shake hands. How was it? It was fantastic. Is I this mean, grip like Superman? It's legendary. Yeah, I knew it would be. <laughs> he might have actually transferred some of his wizard powers to you through, so. through the handshake. You want a little? Yeah, if, if I can get some of that back. Oh yeah. Wow. Ooh. I'm feeling <laughs> Is that how it works? It's tingly up here now. Yeah. I have finally convinced Arlo to start on the stairway here. I see that. And he is doing all kinds of measuring and planning here to get the skirt boards in. He's got his chalk lines here and it's some kind of crazy neon orange chalk, which I've never seen or never used It almost least. looks like a laser line on the wall. No, no, I only use black. <laughs> the kind that you get on your face and it looks like, I don't know what. Maybe like your coal miner. Yeah, coal miners uh, chalk. Yeah, I was gonna say caulk cause it rhymed, but chalk. <laughs> So it is down to the nitty gritty. Like I said, he's checking everything, making sure the skirt gets in the right spot and then he's gonna go on up with it. In front of me, we have a manila envelope <laughs> from Sashko. And this has something to do with us getting 500,000 subscribers. We know the folks there and they follow us. So they wanted us to open it on camera. <laughs> Can you please, and dump it on your head, whatever it was. Please that mail to here, look at that. They didn't even put the address. They no, just, they, wow. sent it, they sent it to Susanna, our marketing no, lady. Did a pigeon drop yeah. that? Today? So here we go. All right. No further ado, what's in the manila? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Item number one. You're kind of a big deal. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, we're yeah. up to 500,000. That's the sash. Oh, look at Nate. <laughs> He's pointing at us. Oh man, what a guy. <laughs> That's like their engineer guy. Uh, okay, we'll see what else we got. There's tough. something else in here. It's a, it's what a, is it? It's a Sasko badge. Bow time! Get oh, some of hey. oh, $200! Wow. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That'll oh, feed my whole family oh, for a month. Oh, man. There you go, boys. Oh, Gosh. Thank you, Sashko. That's, That's, wow. That's a good present. That. Now, when you said your family, you meant oh, your family. Oh, actually, there's only two. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, wow. It's 100 wow. for me, 100 for him. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Perkins Builder Brothers. That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> there you go. What? Getting the feeling it's time for a new saw. You get yeah. that feeling? Well, this one's showing its age a little bit. It's had a rough life. You know, I've yeah. actually had this in my shop for about a year. Mm. If you've never done crown molding on a chop saw, the first thing you're probably gonna do is saw right into these metal backstops on the fence here. <laughs> I advise that you scoot them out a little bit and get them out of the way of the saw and, uh, you know, prevent, yeah. oh, prevent damage. This, uh, for example. <laughs> yeah, that's got some saw marks on it and I even know better. So if you didn't know, these slide don't, out yeah, of the don't way. Don't feel bad if you didn't know. Yeah, don't feel bad, don't worry about it. Nate brought this jig with him and it's gonna help us align the length cuts for our crown molding. We're gonna clamp it to the saw. <laughs> Dude, I was looking at your face and I was like, what is he doing right now? He's like, <laughs> oh, I was trying not to. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do is clamp this to the saw. Okay, you can hold it together back there. All right, uh, mm, looks, looks like a nice jig there. Yeah, and then I'm gonna chop into this top part of it with a 90 cut and a 45 both ways. And then we'll be able to slide our piece of crown in and be able to have a positive tick mark of where the blade's gonna contact the crown mold. It's kind of like a zero clearance cut. Yes. That, yes. That indicates the cut. And I think it's a good idea. I think it'll save Maybe us time too. by not having miscuts just due to us not being able to hit the actual tick mark with the blade. I think it's a great idea. That is a problem I sometimes. can't wait to see it in yeah. action. So I'm gonna cut those. Last thing about this jig, the way it's built, it's specifically for this ground molding and it locks it 
into position, uh, holding it at the correct angle, which makes the cuts uh, just perfect as well. That's right on it. It's perfect. What do you think? Wow. Man, that looks like I did it. Whatever. <laughs> you know why I did it? Why? I think there's people that don't think that I know how to do detailed stuff. They just think I'm just gonna fly in and like, whatever. <laughs> Guilty. See? Did Nate do all that? No, he, he assisted. That looks pretty good, Bo. Okay. A little gap. No, look closer. Look close as you can. A little gappy there. <laughs> No, it looks good. We just added a 22 and a half degree mark on our board here, and this will end up in the trash when we're done, basically. This is gonna be cut. One time use chick. Pieces, done. I feel like we're gonna be way open here for some reason. I do too. Boy, it's, I mean, it's like a good hard eight. It's like a little bit too short. I think you could lose an eight. An eight on the end. Okay, well, that's what's gonna have to happen here, so. So we are making some micro adjustments, these angles on our crown molding, and I don't know why we're having to do that. It should be right, like you've got a 45, 22 and a half. It should work, right? I'll tell you why, because there ain't nothing easy. <laughs> okay. That's why. Yeah, so just, you know, it looks like we're just cutting these and putting them in, but I'm cutting, testing, fitting, shaving, you know, working, it's, it's how it happens. It's just not gonna happen easy. Luckily, Jason's not doing it or he would have thrown it off the mountain. Bro, I would've been done already having a bench. <laughs> Jason would've had every broken bit of that in a campfire cooking a hot dog for lunch is <laughs> what he would've been doing. So everything turned out fantastic except for we just barely missed this can trim. And this sticks out as far as the refrigerator, which is what, 27? 30 inches. 30 inches, plus the crown sticks out a little more, and this light is in line with the other lights, so we're gonna leave it. That, you know, if we'd have known the crown was gonna stick out 32 inches from the wall, if I'd have known, we would have maybe bumped these two inches, but they also line up with those off the wall. Everything lines up. We just ended up with that. Finishing touch to any one of my crown molding jobs, a little bit of big stretch. Uh, makes it look professional, even if the rest wasn't, but it was. This episode is brought to you by Keeps and they've been a longtime sponsor of our channel. So long, in fact, that Ray knows all about it too because he's filmed me doing an ad for them like a dozen times. So yeah, let her rip, Ray. Well, Keeps, it helps keep your hair. Keeps helps keep your hair, correct. I'm using Keeps and it's helped keep my hair. What else? Uh, They deliver it to your house. Correct, <laughs> they deliver it right to your door when you order online and they send you a three month supply at a time. What else? Uh, you talk to the doctor on the phone, right? You talk to the doctor over the phone or on the internet. You don't have to go see a doctor in person, correct? What else? Uh, that might be all I remember. Okay, well, the other things are that Keeps is way more affordable than you would imagine. And it's about 50% less than you'd pay if you go down to the store and buy a similar product. Yeah. And it's super fast to use. It takes me about 10 seconds per day, and it's totally worth it. So if you're looking to keep your hair or maybe even regrow some hair like I've been able to do, all you got to do is go to keeps.com slash Perkins Builder Brothers. No! Oh! Oh! Keeps.com slash Perkins. And how much are they going to get off? 
20%. 50%? Oh, 50! <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get 50% off your first order. So go to keeps.com slash Perkins. Get 50% off your first order. Thanks for the help, Ray. No problem. Really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, two times in a row. Two times. Ran right into it. <laughs> Soon this isn't going to be an issue because yeah. we're setting the island. Yeah, that's right. We're starting to set the island. If you'll notice, this cabinet color matches the coffee bar, if you're wondering why that was that color. And we're going to have to build in this little duct thing in the bottom of the cabinet to seal that off and shoot the air out. So we're figuring it out. And we're going to build it. Three inch? No. You hold it for me. Whoa! You're going Watch for your me. bangers! And then come back this way. Go, yeah, right there. there it is. All right, we'll just break that guy off there. We're good to go. Let's talk about this chop saw blade real quick. I just noticed something. For and you got everybody out here hey, to show everybody too. It's all the Right. So, okay, uh, the saw's unplugged. Okay. Saw's unplugged. All right, so everybody knows that they cut these laser cutouts for anti-vibration, okay. right? It's supposed to make the blade run better. Well, I noticed lately that these black lines on here, I was like, you got to be kidding me. It they just, just printed them on there. Right. Real. And it's not a laser cut. It's a lazier cut, right? Because it's not right. even cut. But, <laughs> but guess what? what? We what? just realized. Check this out. Look. Look at this. Arlo was like, oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, <laughs> it's a little filler thing, a little rubber thing. Huh. Look, here's another no, one we pulled out. It's completely out of balance. So it, off I was wrong. It is a real cutout, and they just put this fancy little plug in there. I wonder why, I guess it's just to reduce friction that they put the I don't know, in. I don't know. I mean, you wouldn't think it could possibly be a problem. That this is interesting. Is so I'm sure somebody out there knows Some the real reason. engineer it's guy. What brand of blade that? is that? Is it's it a, a it is a Diablo. Diablo. Yeah. So, hey, there's the Diablo. The Thank Tri you. Thank you, Diablo, me. for not tricking us. Yeah, I'm glad your finger wasn't right there, Carlo. Yeah, really? Yeah. That could have been. It was like right here. Pretty yeah. nasty. It was close well, call. It would have been. Uh, it would have been exciting. It yeah. I would have jumped. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> it's amazing what the pin nailer can do if you don't have one. Um, there's five nails in this tiny little piece. You can really not even see any of them, and except you, for the one that jagged out the side. <laughs> well, you can see that there, but also uh, there's no splitting. The wood didn't no. split at all. What else can you shoot five nails of in a tiny piece like this? I think, Nothing. Yeah. I don't know of anything. I, I, uh, Man, I actually had two of them shoot out. Hmm. I, yeah, Must I, be a little rainbow in there. Made it shoot out. And I thought you had a nice chisel until I saw Arlo. <laughs> Look at yeah, that thing. I know, I'm jealous. It's a monster. <laughs> Man, he's got a real chisel. Chisel slash spatula. Hey, he fries his eggs in the morning <laughs> with that thing. That's right, you got it. Shaves his face with it. Dude, if you shave your and face with that, I'll give you 20 bucks right now. Wait, feel feel that. It's pretty sharp. Jamie sharpened Whoa. up a while ago, it's sharp. <laughs> it's like moving it all around. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. oh no, here he goes. Did it cut anything? No, no I don't think it skin. did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it did anything. No. This is an off cut or something of one of the counters I made. Yeah. And I just turned it into a cutting board for her it's beautiful. Um, to save the countertops. You know, it's so nice. I can't imagine her actually cutting something. Yeah, but on see, this if she either. doesn't cut on this, is she going to cut on the countertop? This I is going to sit on the countertop and it's made out of countertop. She's probably going to frame that thing and put it on the wall and then Listen, I would rather her cut this up mm -hmm. and then call me in a few years and ask me to make it another one mm -hmm. yeah, than I mean, cut you... those countertops. Did you burn it or is it in It's laser engraved. Oh, wow. Okay, cuz I mean you could It's this nice. 
We'll make this super fast. Most of these engineered flooring products we buy, they don't have a selection of trims mm -mm. to go with them. No bull nose. You get the flooring and yeah. that's it. So like a lot of times no thresholds, no bull noses, no transition strips. So we end up making them and that's why we made this bull nose to match and stained it to match. And I even did a textured surface that is back drag across the bandsaw yeah, so blade. This is not our engineered, whoa, B. Hey oh. This is whoa. not our engineered flooring. This is you Jamie's back? replica of it, which is really good. Well, that's awesome. Solid. Yeah, so a lot of times I would expect that you would have to do that or, or else I don't know what you do. It looks really bad if you just take the flooring and hang it off the edge. Yeah. That looks really and, bad. And then route. I don't know how you would do that. Same with the stairs. If you like want the stair treads to match and you end up putting flooring on the steps. Arlo's <laughs> <laughs> going to sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. So is everyone sorry, else. No, this is super interesting. It is. All right. Well, whatever. Maybe somebody liked it. No, I'm. <laughs> it's a it. nice bull nose. I'm just, I'm just giving you a hard time. Just whatever. You I, did a good it's job. Impressive. It's impressive. It's custom. It's custom because this thickness is nine sixteenths. That's the mm -hmm. thickness of the flooring. And actually, you can't buy one off the shelf that matches the floor. Correct. You got to make. Good it. luck. This is our island bar top that Nate made, and it's beautiful. It's made out of walnut. It's got a couple things about it that make it stronger and better. First is these C channels out of metal that will stiffen and keep this thing straight so it won't warp over time. And he's got these threaded inserts that will be the way we attach through the island. Pan down here, Ray. He's got these slotted so that when we put our screw up through here, we don't really snug it too tight and then it, it can move a little if this bar top wants to expand or contract with humidity or temperature, which I think is all pretty great. Good job. Thank you. Hey Nate, this can make a great workbench to finish out the job. I'm probably use it as a cut station, do a bunch of grinding and stuff on there. You know, I think you could probably put your chop saw on there, uh, Arlo's chisel, <laughs> anything flat, his yeah, stuff and, out. Oh, workbench. <laughs> yeah. If you're curious, Nate said that he used this Odie's oil as the finish, and it's what? Tell me about it. So it's non-toxic, it's food safe, it's natural oil base, it smells fantastic. It does smell okay. And uh, it really goes far. So you can see I about used maybe two thirds, two -thirds of the jar. And is and, that on both sides? Uh, the bottom sides had two coats of both uh, the that island, and the this. shelves, this. Uh, this one has had four coats on top, and same with that. My only so, concern is there might be wildlife in here licking this thing till we get the wind. Well, that's <laughs> true. But there's a couple reasons why I chose this. Lacquer, uh, although nice and will give you a good, you know, you could do a matte finish on this and get probably about the same, will yeah. tend to chip off. Mm. Um, the same with polyurethane, but I also noticed that polyurethane kind of blondes out the brown in direct yeah. sunlight knowing how much sun we have here i chose odie oil, odie's oil so if if the homeowner happens to get a small scratch they can spot sand it treat it again and it will not have an issue whereas uh, a polyurethane finish that sits on top yeah. you have to strip the whole thing so. i love the matte finish matte is where it's at i think it looks good yeah i can imagine the homeowners in here respray and lacquer Right. You know, <laughs> just tape deal. off the rest of the house and spray lacquer inside. So I'm basically leaving this for the homeowners to recoat this. You know, they might need go a year, They'll, just like a cutting board. Once it starts to look dry, yeah, rejuvenate it with some oil and have many years. Yeah, of and if they get really hungry, I could spread that out on a piece of bread, and make a sandwich. That's probably as good as Vegemite as no, far as taste is probably, concerned. No, smell. It. I don't, I've never tasted. It does it, smell but. good though. Actually, it smells like a camphor. It's, it smells like some kind of uh, herbal tea. Yeah. How's it taste though? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's liquidy. I mean, it's liquidy. Last thing we didn't get to is the floating shelves that Nate made to match the tops. They're gonna sit like this and be full of coffee mugs and there'll be two. We'll do that in a later video. You got it, bud. Ah, there we go. You gotta be smarter than the average lab.
<laughs> it's because it's newer, that's why. <laughs>